The Islamic State group's latest release of video renewed its blanket threat to 60 countries standing against it, spreading the fear of possible terrorist attacks throughout the world. Among a shot of 60 flags featured as part of what ISIS dubs the global coalition against it is the Korean flag. Kwon Sua reports. No respite. That's the ominous title of the Islamic State group's latest propaganda video. In it, the extremist group mocks the United States for its military tactics, shows off the size of its territory, and most concerning of all, it threatens the world with more terror. The video shows the flags of 60 countries under the title The Global Coalition Against the Islamic State and includes the Korean flag. So bring it on, all of you. Your numbers only increase us in faith, and we're counting your banners. Experts say Korea is no longer a safe haven from the threats posed by ISIS, as this is the second time the terrorist group has included South Korea in its propaganda media. And that in a very short span. The country was listed as a potential target in the September edition of the group's magazine, Dabik. The provocative media is making Koreans feel uneasy. Middle East experts say Korea has become a potential target, especially as it recently voiced support for anti-ISIS policies. In the past, I would have thought ISIS wouldn't come to Korea, but watching this video makes me scared. I think public places like this with many people are vulnerable to a terror attack. Some people worry the threat will only grow if Korea takes more action against the extremist militant group. I don't think that uh, kind of pessimism doesn't help to solve the problem because this is exactly what ISIS wants by this kind of a threatening strategy. So ISIS wants the older countries to be scared and older countries to be passive and step back from their anti-ISIS coalition. But the Korean government knows that it is better to prevent than lament. And that's why many are waiting for Korea to swiftly pass a pending anti-terror bill. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.